friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Happy Hello Bean. So today I'm doing this little alien, spacey, skullish weirdness kind of thing. I was inspired by another artist. I will talk about it more in the actual video. I'll talk about all her Instagram and stuff like that. My phone is dying, so I can't check right now. I can't remember. But this is what I came up with. I was heavily inspired by her work, and I hope you guys like it. It's spooky. This is actually the very first one that I'm filming. So that's very cool, very exciting. Um, let's get spooky. So I was scrolling on Pinterest and I found this picture right here that I'm really inspired by. I'm not gonna recreate this exactly. I'm gonna kind of fuse the two sides. Like I want this kind of weird drippy mouth across my whole bottom face. You know what I mean? And I want the nose on both sides. But I think I might do the one regular eye, one blacked out eye, but we will see. But regardless, I went to this girl's Instagram and holy cow, she's talented. Zorin Blitz. I'm gonna have her Instagram down below. Mind blown. She calls this look Reaper, but I just think of it as like alien skull kind of situation. I really like it. Again, I'm not gonna do like the throat and stuff like that because I don't want to totally 100% copy this look. I just want to be very inspired by it. And I am. I saw this last night and now I'm filming Halloween for the first time today. It is September 4th. I don't know when this one's going up. I don't know if this is gonna be in the beginning or towards the end. We're gonna do it together. I'm really excited. So I think I want to start by gluing down one of my brows. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> Where's my glue stick? I found my glue stick. Any glue stick will work. Um, everyone on the internet recommends purple. I don't know why, but I got this a year ago for last year's Halloween. So I'm just totally coating my brows with it. And you're just gonna really, with a lot of pressure, like flatten your brows. The whole point of this is to get them as flat to your head as humanly possible. I am not a pro at this. If you remember from last year, I am not a pro. From far away, it's passable. Up close, not really. We'll see if I can improve this year. Man, some of these brow hairs do not want to glue down. Just gonna wait a little bit for this to dry and then I will go in with a second coat. It's better to do it in lots of layers, especially if you're like me and have, my brows aren't the thickest, but they are, they are a little thick. I am not a pro at body painting. I am not a pro at special effects makeup. I am very much learning. Last year was my first year really playing around with it. And I had a lot of fun, and I think I did okay. I didn't do the best in the world, but I did okay. I even look back at pictures from Halloween last year now, and it warms my heart, because I think I did a pretty good job for someone who's very new. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of the RCMA powder oop, all over the place, just in this cap, because I know I'm gonna need it to set my brow to get the glue out of the way. This, this part takes a long time. I will warn you now. I go in with a little bit of powder right over top, brushing upwards, going against gravity. I'm so excited that I'm finally starting filming for this. I can't, I can't wait. I hope this look turns out good or else I'm gonna have a very sad start to Halloween. Going in with another coat of glue, just brushing it upwards again, taking my spoolie and combing that upwards as well. I think my brows actually are pretty flat. I think three coats might've done the trick. On the bright side, it is just gonna be black paint. It's harder when it's like foundation color or white because it's a lot more obvious. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. I know this is an expensive as hell concealer, but it's a brand new one and it's very full coverage and it's what I need for this moment. So just going to just lay some of this concealer down because the goal is to try to hide my brow as much as possible. Again, I am doing black, but I do wanna make sure that my brow is as concealed as I can get it. This sponge is very old. It's from last year and it's not even damp, so I don't know if this is gonna work. I should get up and dampen the sponge, but nobody's got time for that. And now just some more powder. Beautiful. Obviously it's not perfect. You can still see that there's a shadow there, but we're doing black, so it's fine. Well, now what needs to be done is I need to paint everything white. <laughs> Absolutely everything, because I want that to be my base for, for all of this. So I have my white Paradise paint from Mayron. It's literally just in the shade white, and I have a little thing of water here. This water is old and has old paint in it. So I just have this random Morphe paintbrush. I'm just gonna kind of swirl the water into the paint. I just dip my brush in first, and now 
Ooh, I'm getting drips everywhere. I think I made it too wet. That's okay. It's a learning experience, you know? It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. Really, I'm just gonna do a bunch of coats of this all over my face until I like it. So how's about we just speed through this with some music? Wow, I look like Santa Claus. I'm gonna put on a video for myself and you guys can watch me paint. <laughs> looks so scary and crazy right now. So it's definitely very shrieky right off the bat. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't necessarily want you guys to tell me what I'm doing wrong either. Just let me have my fun. Um, also, I probably could have skipped doing white on my beard zone because it's going to be covered with black. But now I'm just going to kind of go over with a second coat to try to make it even more opaque because I do want it to look white, you know? And this is the eye that's going to be blacked out, and this side that I'm on right now is going to be the side with the Q eye. So, I don't know if that means anything to you, but that's why I'm not really, I don't know. I do need to get more of this white all around my eye. I do not know if these paints are eye safe, so just be careful. All right, I've been fighting with the paint for quite a while. I know it's not perfect. It's not 100% not streaky. But you know what? I'm going to have a lot of black going on in this look anyways, so I think that this is fine for the white for now. My lips are scary. And really so much of this is going to get covered up with black. It's not even funny. Um, yeah, let's take a break from the paint and work on maybe, I don't know, my brow, the one that's showing. <laughs> Essentially, I'm just gonna take my Creepy Cute palette and I'm gonna take the black. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I just, I want my brows to be dark and cohesive with the rest of the look, you know? I know it looks scary, but that's okay. Let's do an actual eyeshadow look really quick. I'm just gonna prime my eye with my Sigma eyeshadow base. And I'm just gonna go to town doing a smoky eye. I don't want anything too wild. I might play with some glitter as well. We will see, because I think I want glittery stars in with this look too. But you know what? We'll just have to see. I'm gonna start by just taking the white and the Lunatic palette, or just any white eyeshadow will do just to run all through the crease to help my blending later, just because I know it's gonna give me more trouble than normal just because of all the paint in my edges. I want this to flow very nicely in with my paints. The more this paint dries, the more horrified I'm not. Like it's obviously not perfect and it's definitely better on camera than in person, but it is getting better. But that is why we're gonna do a heavy smoked out I, I'm just gonna take this Lunar Beauty brush and I'm gonna take Void, which is the black from the Creepy Cute palette. And I'm going to just smoke this out with the small side of the brush right under that lower lash line first. And I'm also just gonna pack this black right across the lid. I'm just gonna flip that brush over and start blending out that edge. I'm gonna take Tombstone, which is the gray in the Creepy Cute palette with just another blending brush. This one's from Morphe. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna use that to blend things out even more as well. But then I'm gonna go in with some glitter and pop this over everything. So it's a little more glam. I actually don't mind if it's kind of messy and grungy underneath this eye. Gives it a little bit more of that skullish kind of vibe. I take that brush I use with the white with a little bit more white to blend this out even more. And now I'm gonna take this called Black Dazzle, this shimmery liquid, what is this called? Flash shadow from Pop Beauty. 
I'm going to run this all across my lid. It's just like a really pretty black shimmery liquid shadow. Actually, you know what? Scratch all of my blending. I changed my mind. I want this to be a little more precise. Giant sparkly wing coming at you. Pop a little bit of that right in the front of my lower lash line as well. That's the thing with more creepy looks. It doesn't have to necessarily be perfect, you know? It's okay if it's a little weirdly messy. All right, so let's start working on that eyeball and my mouth and stuff like that because I'm feeling half and half about this look so far. So picking up my water and paints again, I'm going to be using my black Mayron Paradise paint. These are water activated. I don't know if I mentioned that. I know I said I was using water, but I don't know if I specifically mentioned that they're water activated. Now you know. They come to life when you wet them and they also wash off really easy. But on the other hand, they're not good if you're going to be out in the rain. They do not last. So I'm just going to draw a rough circle around my eye and brow. Doesn't have to be perfect. I actually think that's exactly the right shape that I want though. I'm just going to lightly start filling this in. I'm going to use black eyeshadow and liner to get really deep around my eye as well because I want this to look totally blacked out. If I had blackout contacts I would totally wear them but I've never tried colored contacts and a lot of the brands that I've heard of they test on animals which doesn't make sense like why would you test a contact lens on an animal? I don't get it, especially like colored contacts. Like that's so just pure vanity. I don't understand. But because of that reason, this whole the whole point of this eye is gonna be closed. It's gonna be for picture purposes. If you wanted this to be like an all night thing, you'd have to get colored contacts. Now I'm just kind of flicking little, little flicks and shapes. Almost just kind of going with the direction of my circle and just like extending it in weird little spots to give it like a artistic kind of feel. Ooh, look how cool. It might not 100% be what she's done here, but like I said, I'm taking it as inspiration. I'm putting my own creative little spin on it. Very cool, very cool. Let's do the nose. So when I do skull noses, I like to kind of go down like this. And then I'll do it on the same side, or the other side. And then I just kind of do a line down the middle. I didn't do this totally right. I should have brought it down lower in the middle, but that's okay. I like how brush strokey some of these edges are looking. This brush is doing good things for me. That's the thing when you're doing like weird costume makeup. If you just like aren't loving it, just go a little more like grungy and messy and artistic with it. So it looks a little more intentional. Okay, so now we have to start doing the mouth. Obviously I still need to perfect the eye. I need to add black shadows in certain places, cover up this brow a little bit better. <laughs> but for now, I just want to start doing the mouth. And I'm just gonna draw a rough little up and downs, and I'll perfect it in a minute. I'm just kind of starting like at my ear. That looks so cool. I don't know if it looks as cool on camera as I feel like it looks in the viewfinder, but I love that. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to simply start filling all this in. I'm not that worried about my ear. Like I want it a little covered in case my wig pops it visible, but for the most part it's fine. I feel like just adding this mouth is making it come together so much. All right, so here's where we're at so far. I think it looks really cool. Might add a few more little lines here and there, but I like the way this looks. I like how just sketchy and weird. I even actually want some of these to kind of connect all the way up. Okay, I think I'm done messing with the black for right now. Now I want to add some drips coming down my neck to make it look, I don't know, more cohesive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bigger brush. This one is from ColourPop. It's the E17. doesn't really matter, but I like the dome shape on it. 
Ooh, that's going everywhere. And I'm just kind of pushing it against my skin to get those drippy looks. And they're not exactly the same as hers. Her drips look more intentionally drawn, well as I, whereas I want mine to look more sporadic. I need more water. Oh, look how cool. I feel like Billy freaking Eilish right now in that one music video. My boobs are so black right now. All right, this is looking like a cool base. If I'm, if I, if I, if I say so, if I should say so, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So now we need to add some stars into everything. So I'm gonna grab my white paint again, and we're gonna start with the eye, I think. So really quick, I need to add some black shadow to my eyelid because it obviously didn't stick from paint because I didn't really paint my entire eyelid. So I'm just gonna totally black out my eye, and then we will move on to adding some stars and other spacey things to this look to complete it. And honestly, I'm not that worried about my brow because I can always just add stars and it'll look cute. I'm gonna take this black eye pencil and tight line my waterline and lower lash line so that everything is nice and blacked out. You could actually do this look with just the glamorous eye on both sides or the spooky eye on both sides. It doesn't really matter what you do. All right, so let's add some spooks. I have this teeny tiny little brush right here. I'm gonna dip into my white paint with some water, get a good consistency where it's not too wet, hopefully. And I mean, for the most part, I just wanna do like little, I need a dotting tool actually. I'm gonna use the back side of this brush and I'm gonna do little dots. And in the midst of that, I will also draw little stars. With my eyes still closed, I also have this tiny little brush from Sigma. It's very pointy at the tip, so I'm just going to use that to also draw just like teeny tiny little micro dots because I want different sizes. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna do a lot of little stars and stuff to my, to my face now. I feel like my creep factor is starting to come together. Um, my memory card died, so, or filled up, so I had to put a different one in it while I was doing that. I put on this lash. It's Halo from Sugar Pill. And I started dotting around some glitter to, I don't know, add a little bit more pizzazz with the stars. I used Cosmic Confetti from Pop Beauty, and I'm going to take more of that black dazzle now, and I figured I would show you because you're going to want to see it. Um, I'm just taking this small pencil brush. It's more narrow at the top, which is why I picked it. And I'm just going to tap some of that on and then just tap some of it around. I don't want like an insane, insane amount of glitter. Just enough to give the illusion like, ooh, stars, sparkly, you know? Oh, and I guess I put the rest of the stars on my nose too, but I just did the same thing I did with my eye and my mouth area. Very cool, very, very, very cool. I'm liking this. Literally all that's left for me to do now is throw on my wig and we will finish this up. All right, so this is the final look, complete with the wig. The wig totally makes it. A white wig look, would look really cool with this too. I really like this. Obviously it kills the illusion if I'm talking, but if I'm not talking and I close my one eye, gives the illusion nicely. <laughs> I think it looks cool, I think it looks spooky. Obviously it's not like absolute perfection, but I'm not an SFX artist. I do not do this all the time. I think I did okay for my first time doing this in a long time. I'm happy with the result. I think it looks cool and spooky. What do you guys think? I would love to know what you think about Halloween so far, whether this is the first video that goes up or it's down the road. Let me know how it's going. I'm very content with this. I'm now going to take a long shower and wash all of this off because... I'm not about to have this sitting on my body for very long. I have no parties to go to tonight. It is September. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this Halloween video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be posting every single day in October. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.